When I was a little boy, I had the biggest crush on Drew Barrymore in the first and second Charlie's Angels movies. When I was growing up, I don't know. It's just Drew Barrymore. That's where she was just, to me, I was a little kid, I was like, I like that girl. She's really good in this movie. Charlie's Angels. From writer and director Elizabeth Banks, who also directed Pitch Perfect 2, comes her second movie she's ever directed, Charlie's Angels, the reboot version. No, this is not a sequel or anything. This is a straight up reboot the angels new angels new everything new bosleys it's a whole new thing so going into this movie i was not excited i'll admit i was very much like this just looks bad it looks bad and so basically it stars uh kristen stewart naomi scott and ella Belinsky. what was her name ella Belinsky or something like that and patrick stewart and elizabeth banks Basically, Naomi Scott is joining the the Charlie's Angels. She's joining the Angels. Kristen Stewart and Ella Blinsky is already working together. Well, they're starting to work together. But now all three of them and Liz Banks got to work together to stop this new corporation that has this device that can, like, destroy the lights and power and human race or yada, yada, yada. It's your basic spy story. It's Charlie's Angels. And it's way better than I thought it was going to be. I, like I said, I went in this movie thinking, bad. Just I didn't care. I was like, the trailers just look cheesy, bad, stupid. I didn't care. I walked out saying that movie was exactly what it knew it was, what it was, and doing what it needed to be. It felt like the original show. It felt cheesy, but it felt right for the story because the three angels, all three of them, were great. I, I gotta be honest. Uh, Naomi Scott, love her she's just got a charm to her she's a great new star coming upon us she's awesome in this movie i thought she was really just she was just you just liked her you liked her you liked following her ella Belinsky again i'm saying her name probably wrong she was really good I've never seen her or anything but she was a she was a badass she she was a good character she also had some development that actually made her character more intriguing Kristen Stewart, oh wow, she had a blast, I can tell. She, it, did, it felt like Kristen Stewart was like, finally, I get to like have a role where I can just be myself and be more outrageous and outgoing, sometimes annoying, but her character literally says in the movie, I'm sometimes uh, annoying, I'm sorry about that. But it felt like their chemistry worked, all three of them. If they did make a sequel, I would want to see these three come back. These three were the reason to see this movie. They made the movie more fun, more likable to watch. Elizabeth Banks as one of the Bosleys, I liked her. She felt supporting. Like she felt like definitely felt like a character that was needed. Didn't feel like she's like, hey, the director's in the movie. No, she felt needed. All the villains felt very cliche, and they do a bunch of twists and everything, which is very predictable. The main issue is this movie is just cheesy in some scenes and very predictable. I mean. You can predict so many twists and opening scenes. You're like, so that character is going to be that, and that character is going to be working with that character. Like, it's very easy to pick things out, and I predicted a certain character. In the first 10 minutes, I was like, so that character is going to be that, and it's just, it's so, just, it's so in your eyes. You're like, I know exactly what's going to happen. But the movie knows what it is. It's a fun movie. You go, you watch it, you see three female leads in a movie kick ass. Elizabeth Banks is a director. She's getting better. There's there's a few action scenes that felt very much like Taken 2, but they're very mo they're very much better than Taken 2. The movie looks good. I mean, she did a good job as a director. She's not like like cute like she's not doing John Wick action scenes nothing like that, but I mean the action scenes were they were good. They were fun. Again, this movie is literally go get your girlfriends, go get your any just a bunch of friends. Go watch this movie, have a good time, just smile and enjoy the, the fun action, the comedy, all these women and everything. The movie looks good. Again, it's a fun movie and knew it was going to be that and that's exactly what it is. Definitely a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to give Charlie's Angels a B-. minus. I'm not saying the movie is like outstanding. I'm not saying the movie is like trash. I'm just saying it's a movie in theaters that you could definitely go watch in theaters and have a good time and walk out saying, I had fun with the movie. Kill me if you want me to, but I had fun with it. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.